Yeah. Wait, what were we talking about? My name is Shan Chi. Shan Chi. Shang. Shan. Shang. Shan. S H A N G. Shang. That's what I said. Oh, you can turn it up. Yeah, you can hear me. Run it. Oh yeah. Shang Chi. All right. Let's see. So Shang Shang Chi, right? Shang Shang Chi. This is the new um, Marvel Avenger to start up Marvel's Phase Four and Five, I suppose. But yeah, so this was definitely a movie. Uh, I wouldn't say if it was like a Marvel movie, but it was definitely a movie, you know. But it, it had you know those those Marvel tropes or little little side characters that if you didn't like know who they were, I guess. You probably wouldn't understand this movie, but so let's get into it real quick. Um, personally, I don't know. I didn't really like this film. It felt so like it was just trying. And yeah, there was a lot of shit going on. You know, there's the whole Shang-Chi with his dad. Then there's his sister with his dad. Then there's like, you know, him and Aquafina together dealing with their 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 relationship or lives. And first, I got to say, like, first and foremost, I didn't like I would never want to work with my partner <laughs> if we both worked as um what were they fucking valet drivers like that just sounds boring as shit like both of you have like the worst jobs literally but you know it, it was just kind of ridiculous i oh God, as like a whole I, it didn't feel like a marvel movie you know it literally felt like just about a movie like a, a, a usual kung fu movie where this guy is you know just trained by his father to be an assassin or something and he just doesn't want to fucking be an assassin you know I, it, nothing in it was really screaming this is a marvel movie this is a marvel movie you know minus i guess the fact that it marvel was in the intro you know marvel studios and abomination was in it and i guess the mandarin is a character but you know and ben kingsley was in iron man so i guess all of it kind of connected but for the most part i was kind of like what and you know to be fair the fact i'll, I'll just i'm just gonna jump into this movie i don't really want i'm not really gonna do like a straight review but this was pretty much kind of like the never-ending story meets kung fu hustle because you're telling me that in a certain dimension of you know the marvel universe there there's pretty much a dragon there are dragons you know multiple dragons different types of dragons and in this one we have a dragon that looks like someone familiar you know <laughs> literally my boy falco it's hilarious man you might as well call shang chi a treyu you know like i mean he didn't have a horse but he had aquafina and she was about as dull but fuck man you know that i was like what there's a fucking dragon like of all that of all that there's a dragon and um you know, people were like, what the fuck is this whole mystical land that he tries to find and everything? His father in the beginning that like, I mean, he has these rings that are like as old as time. And you're telling me that he's just, he just can't get into this one magical place and that this chick just kicks his ass. And then they end up having a kid together. I mean, like, oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. It was just really like, really? I mean, I guess. And then you have Tony Lung playing the villain i mean tony Lung is one of the most successful like greatest actors in china or i mean where where he's from necessarily i forget but it's like they don't even publicize him as an actor and saying like like this amazing actor is going to be portraying a villain like it's more like hey we just have this villain here you know it's just like really i mean i guess you know, there's nothing in it i mean, I don't know. And the fact that he dies at the end when he gets, he just kind of, when the soul sucking bat like grabs him and he's just like, here you go. Ah, uh, sorry, son. I done fucked up. And he like lets the rings fall off of him onto his, onto Shang-Chi. And then like Shang-Chi just beats the dragon in like five seconds. I mean, like, what the fuck, man? You know, I'm sorry, but that whole dragon sequence was literally Kung Fu fucking hustle.
the the soul sucking bat thing or whatever the fuck that was. It was ridiculous. Well, I guess he didn't boot his palm and he like boot his hand turned it because he shot the rings into it and like turned his hands and the rings like turned out of the creature and blew the fucking creature up. Like it's ridiculous. It's just like I right, I mean I guess he is oh so powerful. But you know what I, I the the kicker of all of this was the fact that in the beginning of the movie he just like when they're on the bus, like they they that was in the trailer, right? So that you already knew that scene was gonna come. So it's just the minute you saw him in his jacket and the minute they got on that bus it was like, oh, well, I guess this is where the bulk of the movie is going to happen. And it kind of is because he just remember, like, I mean, he just remembers like, hey, you know what? I'm a badass. For all you guys that don't know who Shang-Chi is, I'm a badass. For all of you who didn't know that there was a badass Asian lead, it's me. I am Shang-Chi. What's up, though? But literally, that's exactly how this all played out. And it was kind of weird. It was kind of like, you know, oh, you know who he is, right? And it's like, nah, like as, as a, as, I mean, I would consider myself, I guess, a, I guess a normie. But, you know, I, I've read comic books and I don't, I, I'm not like ignorant to like everything. But if I, I don't know, I did not know who Shang-Chi was until like, you know, two years ago. But if I would have went into this movie and you told me that it was a Marvel movie, I don't think I would have believed you, but I guess I would have believed it because of that little trailer part, but I, I wouldn't have believed it. But uh, we'll see how it all goes. You know, I, 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 if, this is it's definitely not fucking Iron Man. <laughs> and, you know, for the record, everyone would be dead. Like, literally everyone would be dead if it was not for, you know, the Aquafina. Because unlike Iron Man, who did everything in fucking, his fucking self... This movie wouldn't would not have ended well if she would never have shot that arrow into the neck of the fucking soul sucking bat demon thing. Now, you can say whatever you want about Shang-Chi and the movie as a whole, but that ending scene was complete bullshit. I mean, she what? She was just like, I just started learning how to fire arrows and not only can I shoot it perfectly straight into the neck of a flying beast but it's gonna actually i i'll do it i have enough strength to actually pierce the neck of that beast now i don't know what the director was thinking but that was complete and utter bullshit but hey whatever it, you know i guess this movie is a triumph I, I guess the sequels will be great because the cast is gonna return reprise their roles captain marvel was in the end credits so you know it was a marvel film you know it's phase five everybody phase lies <laughs> that's gonna be good <laughs> oh man yeah i don't know i guess we'll just have to wait you know but I, you know uh, fuck, they're valet drivers you know they're nothing their characters are just no one it's literally like a ba it is just a basic coming of power tale you know my dad had powers now i got these powers i was no one now i am someone but i don't know we'll have to wait for the sequels maybe it won't be maybe it won't be as bad as we think <laughs> We make a good team.